bit of lower Manhattan. That's the upper lower, I don't even know. That's a little sanitation department right there. There's like a sign where you're driving on like the up, like the, the I think it's the lower part, but the lower part of Manhattan. You're driving that sign right there you see. Yo, what's happening, y'all? It's your brother, Prophet Aaron, back with another video, man. So, it's been a while since I made a video in the car. You know, like, I don't know how long it's been since I made a video in the car. Like, um, I guess there was that one time I showed y'all the seats, like, actually moving the camera, showing all the seats, stuff like that, and then I cut it inside, so it wasn't really much of a video. But I mean, like, as far as the video in my car, it's been a while. Um, I just, I don't drive this car as much as I, you know, I used to with any car, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like when I had my other car, my Accord, my turbo, my turbo Honda Accord, um, it's like, I was, I was still doing, I was still working from home. Um, but I was going, I was going out a little bit more, I guess. Like, I don't even know. I think, let's see. I, I don't even know. Like, I think, like, I used to go to the grocery store, like, in the week. I had to pick up some more vitamin water or, like, my diet wasn't the best. So, like, sometimes, like, in the week, I'll go out to get something to eat. So, I'll drive, I'll drive. Like, I just don't drive this car as much. You know what I'm saying? Like, last time I drove this was last Sunday, like literally Sunday right now, and last time I drove was last Sunday. You know, that's why it sits on the battery tether pretty much all week <laughs> because I, I don't I don't drive it, so I want the battery to die. Um, that's why I don't record recording the car much. But that's my little rant, I guess. My little explanation why I don't re record in the car often. I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> um, so important thing, man. Um, all jokes aside. If y'all saw my last video, day 27, I didn't, a video didn't post today Sunday when I'm recording this, so a video did not post this morning because I didn't record it today, okay? And that was on purpose. Um, so this video is kind of in response to my previous video, day 27, my side messed up. Um, first off, man, shout out to brother EJ, man. Uh, brother uh, EJ Madden. If you have not checked out his channel already, make sure to check it out, man. Like, he posts great, no fat semantism videos, biblical masculinity videos, just different videos like that, man. Um, definitely check him out, man. Like, he's over 3.8 years of retaining. Um, and he's a Christian man, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's, you know, I, I, I'm in his um, training program, so he's pretty much my, um, he's not only my coach as far as retaining, but also, and like, Bring my masculinity and stuff and things like that, but like he's also like you know, he's a brother in Christ, you know what I'm saying? Like, we talk often, like, we text often, like, we like, you know, what I'm saying, like, so definitely check his channel if you haven't already. Man, my dashboard's falling apart, I gotta get the cover. Um, but yeah, man, so if you've seen the last video, I was explaining how I messed up and how you know things kind of showed up from YouTube and things like that. Um, and you know, I, I, I messaged Brother EJ about it, just kind of sent a, a little voice message saying like what happened, things like that. And uh, he may, he, you know what I'm saying? This is why I, I really appreciate him, man. Like he, he, like he is completely honest whenever he uh, gives me advice and things like that. Um, he was telling me he got aggravated hear my voice message because I was kind of blaming outside sources and not taking full accountability which you know it really made sense like it was a pretty long voice message that he said um uh not too too long but it was like a you know what I'm saying he, he he was like saying a lot of stuff and it really hit me man. and then like he went live talking about like this is a bunch of different topics, but like that topic kind of threw, kind of got in there. Um, obviously, he didn't say my name or anything like that, but like he he kind of threw that topic in there and kind of like just give advice to everybody who's watching. And I'm listening to it, right? And uh, 
you know, I would throw in the I would throw in the clip of what he said, but you know, I, I'd rather not just take his content. You know what I'm saying? But if you go back to his his recent uh, recent live stream, um, you reap what you sow. Um, it's definitely in there. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. So he was talking about how like you know with YouTube, right? YouTube is similar to the world in a way. That makes sense. Um, when you go to when you go to public school, right? Um, you go in, right? Or even like he didn't say this example about those examples. And there's something I just thought of, right? When I was working at Target, right? Y'all remember I was working at Target? Um, literally right before I started working at Allstate, working at Target for like a year and a half. Um, which was a really good job. The only reason I left is because I need a full-time job and I want to work from home. But anyways, um, I worked at Target and, you know, there was a bunch of different type of sisters and sisters in Christ that walk in, right? Obviously, there's brothers in Christ too, but I'm, talking about, I'm just talking about sisters in Christ for my example. So, there, there's different type of sisters in Christ that walk in, right? So, it's like... You have the sisters that walk in and just wear normal stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, the sisters that are like religious, they wear like modest clothing. You know what I'm saying? Everything's covered up and things like that. Um, you know, just modest clothing. And then there'll be sisters that, you know, have more things exposed, right? You know, like those, those have the shorts, you know, in shorts I'm talking about, um, leggings, things like that. The shirt might not, you know what I'm saying? Like, and of course, you know, there's clothing nowadays where like they, they have all these rips in the pants and they're not i'm that's, that's that's a whole different topic but it's the type of, of sisters i walk in right same thing with public school you know what i'm saying i know a lot of y'all in high school watch my videos um i mean there's a lot of y'all who go to public who go to private schools too so i can't really but those y'all who go to public schools you know what i'm saying you know you go to school and same thing different types of different types of sisters in there um some are dressed modestly some don't you know what I'm saying? It's majority in public schools, but <laughs> they, some don't. You know what I'm saying? And you avoid that. You know what I'm saying? Like when you're in the world, like when you, not in the world as far as like you're following worldly things, but you're in the world as like you're 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 out and you're out and about. You know what I'm saying? You're in the world, and you know you're in the world, and there's a bunch of different things happening. You know what I'm saying? Like there's. Um, a lot of people who are in clubs, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people who, you know, are, are, are you know what I'm saying? Just, just, just harboring bad spirits, basically. Who are harboring bad spirits. And, you know, you, you can just tell. You know what I'm saying? There's different people, but people, but the type of people who, like, listen to certain music and then it kind of makes them act a certain way. Like, you know what I'm talking about. But you actively avoid it. You know what I'm saying? You stay out of the world. You know what I'm saying? You stay in your word. You're staying your word, you follow God's will, you don't cuss, you don't listen to certain type of music, you don't watch certain type of videos or movies, you know, you you you, you stay away from that stuff, right? Um, it's similar. YouTube is very similar to that, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't even think of it like that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even think of it like that. Um, I was literally like, before day 27, I think it was day 25 or something like that. Um, I was saying how like I was I was on YouTube and then like things were popping up. You know what I'm saying? Um, which I evaded, but there's things that popping up stuff like that, and I was like, man, YouTube's not safe. Um, and I was saying, you know, that's just saying like all these things popping up, things like that. YouTube is similar to avoiding the world. You know what I'm saying like you have to kind of control the content you watch. You know what I'm saying because YouTube, like this world, is good and bad. You know what I'm saying like there's good and bad things. Um, in the world, there's things of the spirit, right? Because it's God's creation, it's things of the spirit, right? Um, and it's also worldly things, right? Clubs, you know, S T R I P clubs, um, you know, different things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like YouTube is YouTube is somewhere in the way. You know what I'm saying? YouTube has worldly stuff, like a whole bunch of videos that aren't clean in a way, right? And then there's good things. You know what I'm saying? Like. If you're having trouble understanding uh, um, one of the books in the Bible, you know what I'm saying? There's literally videos that, that help explain it better. You know, there's there's different prayers, right? Um, shout out to, uh, to Pastor Robert Cransey, man. I listened to his uh, Lust Prayer. 
uh, every night. Um, there's prayers about different things they can listen to daily. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's um, different workout videos. There's like sh videos about stretching. There's like this so it's like this motivational. Video. There's, there's a lot of good videos to watch. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about just you know really limiting your time on YouTube and you know being careful of the content you watch. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's like this, man. I told y'all how things came about in the previous video, right? I was watching Sonic Frontiers videos, and then, like, there was a channel, and then I went in the channel, and then, like, one of the videos... Y'all know what I mean, man. Um, I mean, if y'all didn't see the last video, then definitely check it out. I go into more detail about what happened. I'm just kind of explaining, like... I'm just kind of talking about the excuses part that I was putting in there that I talked about in that video. Um, because when you, when you, when you relapse, right, especially, and I'm, I'm be, I'm be 100% honest, y'all know I'm 100% honest all the time, right? When you relapse, especially as someone who was a YouTuber, like a, a um, I guess a, a no fab senior retention celibacy YouTuber, um, and you have a lot of brothers, even some, some Christians, some sisters in the two, um, you have people watching you, right? Watching your journey, joining in your journeys and things like that. When you, when you relapse, you know, you're in a state of like just anger and sadness. You're just kind of there like, man, like you start thinking about like the worst. Like you're thinking like, you're thinking like the worst things happen, you know what I'm saying? And like, when you think about having to make that relapse video, it's like excuses kind of pop in your head. Like, you know, this happened, this happened, this happened, this caused me to do this, this caused me to do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, but in reality, man, this, like I said, like, that overall message that brother EJ said, man, like, there's obviously things in the world. There's TikTok, which I, I don't use social media, right? Where it's, like, TikTok. There's, like, things on Instagram. There's, like, there's a lot of things that are going to try and, like, mess you up, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's what you do that would decide the outcome of, of what happens when those things pop up. You know what I'm saying? There's things like, you know, just turn off your phone for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like... Um, instantly going to prayer, you know what I'm saying? Go to prayer instantly. You know, the air jabs, you know, Proverbs 31, verse 3 in the left, Proverbs 6, verse 25 in the right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, 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 it's literally a fight, man. It's literally a fight, you know. It's a fight in the spiritual and the physical, in a way. You know, in the physical, it's you seeing this stuff and doing things like the air jabs. Not bad, yo. Doing things like the air jabs to you know get those get get any thoughts pop in your head get them out your mind you know what i'm saying um in the spiritual right it's all about prayer all about prayer and and praying to god for strength every single night when every single night when you about to go to bed and you're doing your prayers you have to pray for strength against lustful thoughts and the urges right because there's one thing to do with the air jabs, and air jabs really help. I'm talking about like help insanely. When you when you have any left thoughts come in your head, as like as soon as you try to come in your head, just do that and block out all these thoughts. It really helps, man. Because you throw those those, those verses with it. it, it just it just hits different. You know what I'm saying? But it's also about prayer. You know what I'm saying? Like if you try to do this thing, like, oh, oh, also all I need, and don't pray to God for strength, and just acknowledging that God's giving you strength to overcome this in the spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Like. Also in the physical, you know, God's giving you strength to, 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 you know, beat this stuff. You know, God's going to just, you know, if you don't give him credit for this stuff, God's going to just let you, just, just let you do it. And of course we can't do it without God's strength, but then, you know, what happens. You know what I'm saying? So, in a way, man, I really have to, um, I, in a way I kind of apologize, man. I kind of apologize to people who watch my video and you know maybe had similar thoughts to brother ej and were just aggravated and things like that um about what i was saying or like you know maybe you were maybe you weren't you know what i'm saying but if you were then I, I i do apologize you know what i'm saying like it's like i gotta be accountable you know what i'm saying like and just 
watch, just kind of be careful of things I watch on YouTube, you know, like, obviously, the channels that I used to watch, I don't watch anymore, things like that, but, like, you know, just limiting my time on YouTube, and when I watch YouTube, only watch beneficial videos, you know what I'm saying, like, masculine videos, Christianity videos, self-improvement videos, motivational videos, things like that, and then, when I'm limit entertaining videos to when I'm eating, you know what I'm saying, like, even, uh, even on the weekends, you know what I'm saying, like, the weekends, I still have to limit what I watch, you know what I'm saying, like, when it comes to Sonic Frontiers news and things like that, just different game news in general, like, things like that, what I'm, what I'm planning on doing is just, you know, limiting that to the weekend, you know, limiting that to the weekend and, you know, just also be, also be careful with that as well, you know what I'm saying, like, and like things like Sonic Frontiers news, like, oh, let me see what's going on with the news, that I can, that I can do in the weekend, right, I can do, like, you know, um, but still entertainment videos, like, or, you know what I'm saying, or if I'm watching, like, if there's news regarding, or, or a new chapter of, like, let's give an example, this new chapter of Dragon Ball, or, or, or My Hair Academia, something like that, you know what I'm saying, it's, I, I, can, I can just kind of be like, alright, let, let me check this out, right, but when it comes to entertainment videos, even on the weekends, I have to limit that, I have to limit that to, like, when I'm eating, you know what I'm saying, like, on weekends, I can kind of relax a little bit as far as, like, you know, I could go play a video game, you know what I'm saying, like, if I'm not doing anything, I could, okay, let me go play, let me go play a game for, like, an hour or two, you know what I'm saying, like, I can kind of, like, relax for a little bit, but when it comes to, like, things like that, YouTube videos, music listen to, things like that, you have to, you, it's all, you have to be careful with that, you know what I'm saying, so that's my plan for that, man, and, uh, you know, it, it's like, when I, when when brother EJ sent me that voice message and I didn't respond right away because I went to go work out. You know what I'm saying I went to go work out. I almost didn't work out, but I was like, oh wait. I, I literally almost hopped in the shower, but now I was like, wait, I gotta go work out. You know what I'm saying like, I literally forgot to go work out because I was literally out with my parents all day, so I forgot to work out. You know, I was fasting and things like that. Um, but I did my workout as, as I was working out. I was listening to the day one video I did where I said um, letting go um, I, I watched that video again man and I in the, like man I got so upset man like literally like, like upset like, 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 like sad basically because every emotion I felt that day put it back into me you know what I'm saying and like you know just everything I said to my sister everything that I mean, obviously, my sister wasn't there. She, she's not in this world anymore. She's with God, obviously. But, like, just kind of being in front of her grave and saying what I had to say, man. Like, literally that day, I had so much frustration and so much, like, things just built up that when I... I literally told you, when I literally went in front of her grave, when I literally found her grave, because just be by myself, you know, so my, my family went to um, vacation. I was just, you know what I'm saying, I took the time to go to, to New York. And when I, I was, in, I was in the grave site, I'm saying I was looking for a grave. When I found her grave, and I stood there, I literally, I literally started crying. Like, I literally stood there, and tears started just, just coming out. Like, I started crying. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I literally sat there. Like, y'all saw in the video. If I didn't see it, man, make sure to check it out. Um, you can search up NoFab Day 1, Letting Go. Or just, 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 just go on my channel and scroll down a little bit. Like, literally scroll down. Because my last video Day 27. Just scroll down to Day 1, and you'll see it. Um, but just letting everything out, man. Like I literally just sat. I sat there, man, and I was telling, was telling her. You know I'm saying everything that was going on. You know, losing friends, um, just everything I was going through as a Christian man. You know, what I'm saying because when you follow God's will and things like that in this world, just how the world is nowadays, man. It, it's it's difficult. You know, what I'm saying it's very difficult. You know, but God gives me strength to overcome. You know, what I'm saying. God gives us strength to overcome and no and nothing can hurt us as long as we have God's strength. I'm saying it's a lot like God has the final say so and everything. So, you know, with God's protection, nothing can, can harm us, right? So, you know, there was that and I was saying how I want to be a light for my family, like how my sister was. You know what I'm saying like my sister when she was around, she was that she was that life of the family, you know what I'm saying? She was that person always in church, always, you know, just um 
just in the spirit of Christ, you know what I'm saying? It's always helping people out, always, you know what I'm saying? And they were, they, they were saying that when, you know, during the funeral, when, you know, they were giving speeches, the people were saying that, you know what I'm saying? So, in, a, in that way, I want to be that same, that same way to my family, you know? And I started that process already, you know? So, it's like, it's got to keep adding on to that. And, you know, it's important to retain my seed and be celibate for God, you know, for my future family, everything like that, my, my current family, everything like that, you know, and just, um, it's like, you know, I'm being real when I'm really just pausing like this, because I'm actually getting my thoughts up, but it's like, I'm 23, you know what I'm saying, I'm 23, and you know, I I, I want to make the most out of, you know, brother and brother EJ. You know, what I'm saying, we, um, I don't know if he's watching this or not, but like, you know, we had talks about this, man. We had talks about it. Like pretty much every call we do, we had we had talk about this, man. We're both the same age, you know. But it's like being 23, man. I want to make the most out of being 23. You know, what I'm saying, I want to make the most out of growing and you know, what I'm saying, start making moves. You know, what I'm saying, like. You know, just, just growing it within myself and things like that, man. And I told y'all about the six month grind and things like that. And like by any six months, so in March, man, I want to be at a point where I can, where I'm ready to get a wife. You know, where I'm where I'm really ready to get a wife. And you know, um, by the end of next year, God willing, you know, what I'm saying like I want to start looking for a place. You know, start looking for my own place in Florida and start making moves to actually move. You know, like. I want to start doing it. I want to like, you know, what I'm saying, be a be, be a biblical be be masculine leader, and just, you know, just, just just get that breakthrough. You know, just like go months, go a year, two years, just, you know, just being celibate, man. Just making the most out of life, man. And like I was feeling. I still am feeling great, you know what I'm saying? But I was feeling great, you know, just before I messed up, you know what I'm saying? Just like, with everything working out, things like that, just avoiding lust, like doing those air jobs when those thoughts came. Like, my mind was so clear, man. Like, my mind was so clear because I was avoiding lust and those thoughts and things like that, man. Like, you know, and it's like, I don't mean to ramble on, man, but it's like, you know, I'm feeling very good. You know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling really good. Like I, I've been working out consistently, like with just the plan I'm following and this, you know, eating my, like the meal plan that, that you know what I'm saying? I'm following things like that. Um, I'm already noticing differences in my body, you know what I'm saying? Which y'all probably not gonna see to anything. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all probably not gonna see to end six months, but I'm doing something. Like every morning when I wake up, I'm doing a, like a short five second clip of my body. I'm doing it every morning for these six months. So at the end of these six months, which I do have a calendar, at the end of these six months, I'm gonna put all the clips together, like every single one, put them all together in a video, so y'all can see the ch so y'all can see the changes. Um, so I actually changed it from the six months, man. Like I'm gonna do, like at any six months, I'm gonna do a video or well, a series of videos, actually, probably like three or whatever, just like showing the changes that I made from September to March. You know, just spiritually, physically, everything like that, man. So one of it is definitely gonna be just just based on my changes with my body, physically, and things like that. Um. You know, I'm gonna show how I how I am at that point mentally, how I am spiritually, man. And you know, God literally told me when He told me to do these six months of growth, man. Which I still didn't name. I'm probably gonna leave the six months of growth or whatever, um, or just I don't even know. Um, biblical masculine. I don't even know what to what to name it, man. But like, God literally told me, you know, it's all about. It's all on me, basically. It's all on me to make the most out of these six months, you know, like, I can, I can literally go these six months 
and come and have March come and I'm exactly the same. You know, I'm exactly the same and didn't make any type of drastic change because I didn't follow what God told me to do, you know, or every single day when God tells me to do something, to do it, you know what I'm saying, to follow the habits that I've set, you know what I'm saying, that I prayed on, that I wrote down, that I set for myself to do every single day, to do those, you know, avoid lustful content, avoid, lust, you know what I'm saying, just, just control there's a control must just control things in the physical and rely on God for strength in the spiritual and just continue praying and you know doing my doing my work so God can do his works you know what I'm saying and just make the most out of each and every day of, this, of these six months so that when these six months are over I could be a whole different person you know I can I can I want to come back here in six months and let y'all see the changes, man. And let y'all see the changes as I go each day, you know, as I'm up for daily and things like that. Hope y'all can see the changes and things like that, man. But, you know, and, <laughs> guys, man, I'm telling y'all, when these six months are over, man, I want, I literally said I want to be at a point where I'm ready to seek out a wife, man. I'm be like, yo, I'm ready. I'm ready to be out, that, that Bill Comaskin leader. I'm, I'm ready to, to, you know, I'm ready to go, you know? And even if I don't, like, I don't, like, it's all in God's time, you know what I'm saying? We, we, I don't know how it's going to go, but, you know, if, even if I don't meet that person right then and there or start talking to that person, whatever, you know, maybe in the summertime, maybe in the fall, even, you know what I'm saying? But at, at any six months, I want to be at a point where I'm ready. I'm like, I'm ready to seek out that, that wife. And then when that, when that person comes in, man, uh, we're going to, we're going we're gonna, to, just, just follow God's path and just let things go. You know what I'm saying? See how it goes. And then when that person is my girlfriend, which I told y'all, when I get when I get my next relationship, I literally said that when I tell y'all I'm in a relationship, that means I'm gonna marry that person because I'm doing every like step of the courting process. I'm asking questions. I'm not having her ask questions about me. Like I'm, I, we're making sure that we're compatible. We're making sure that we want to get married to each other. Before we get in a relationship, because if we get in a relationship and we're not even sure about that, it's just wasting each other's time. You know what I'm saying when God probably has someone else for us. You know what I'm saying, but if we know that you know you're gonna be my wife and she's like you know, my husband and things like that, and we get in a relationship, and I tell y'all about it, just know that I'm that. <laughs> just know that I found my wife, man. So I want to get to that point, man. There's so many, you know, and just like when my when my, my family's going through stuff, which. You know, I'm not gonna go into detail. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything at all, actually. But my, my parents, my, my family was going through stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I was that person to be in there and be like, you know, we're gonna go through. Ooh, chill, why are you about to keep going forward? Um, you know, I was that person to be like, you know, this is just the enemy testing you. You know, it's just the enemy making you go through stuff to test you, to test your faith. You know what I'm saying? But just rely on God. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't stress about any of this because God's. You know, God's got us. That's the person that I was, still am actually. That's the person that I was being, you know, before I messed up, before my relapse. You know what I'm saying? This person that I was, I was like, I was saying that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was bringing up God a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, this different, this different moments. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though, even though I was getting flack for it, you know, in some, at some points, you know, I was being that person to be like, listen, it's rely on God, man. Or like, I'm not doing this because, you know, I'm following God's will and God's will not to, to, not to do this and things like that. I'll bring up verses, you know. Overall, man, this was getting, getting long already. Um, overall, man, I just had to get all this out. You know, I, every, like, everything I just said, I, 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 it's my mind since yesterday. I had to get it out, and I did. So, I appreciate all of y'all listening, man, all y'all watching. And um, there's no, I'm, I continue to pray for every single one of y'all, man, to get over this addiction and, you know, the, the spirit of lust and, you know, the enemy's attacks and things like that, man. Just know when you're when you're a follower of Christ, man, you're going to be attacked. You're going to be going through this. It's not a third, but you have the power. You have strength in God. You know what I'm saying? The Holy Spirit within you. You know what I'm saying? Just fight, man. Just just fight. You know, just, just fight through it. Just fight for your freedom, man. We have freedom in Christ, and you gotta fight for it, man. You gotta, you know, the, the enemy knows that we have freedom in Christ, but the enemy's not gonna not gonna let us go so easily. You know what I'm saying? The enemy has us in, you know, a grasp from lust. You know what I'm saying? But as we're 
retaining, as we're being celibate for God and we're, as we're breaking free from it, the enemy's not going to let us go easily. You know what I'm saying? So we have to keep fighting. We have to keep fighting so we can get that freedom, you know? Get off that hold. If that makes sense, man. So that's all I have to say, man. Uh, I said I appreciate all of you for watching. Appreciate all of you who subscribed. Um, and we're still getting, we're still getting famous every day, man. So I appreciate all of y'all who sticking around, even though I messed up things like that, man. I appreciate y'all sticking around, and let's do it, man. Let's do it. I'll catch y'all next one, your brother Aaron. Out.